What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Poppy back to another video. In today's video, we will be checking out the latest collab between Am Am and Aaron Jordan brand, and that is on the Air Jordan 4 in this beautiful violet or colorway, as you can see in my hand right here. Now, I was actually able to grab these when they released last Thursday or Friday. Can't remember the exact date on Am Am and Air's website. I will have to say, it seems like a lot of people hit. A lot of people are pretty happy. A lot more happy than the Lost and Found release. So I will have to say, it seems like I'm, I'm in there has a really fair release system and manual users are able to get pairs. So I gotta give them a shout out. They were doing like a voice campaign, which I didn't participate in. But anyways, I know a lot of people hit on the voice campaign as well. So I feel like this was a pretty fair release. And if you wanted to get these, you had a pretty fair shot at getting them. But anyways, before we get into the shoes, please hit like, subscribe. If you wanna see how I style my I'm, I'm in there Air Jordan 4s, Please feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post fit pics weekly. See how I style my I'm Am Air Air Jordan 4s. Like I said, go check out the gram. But anyways, let's get into the video. Starting off, we gotta talk about the box. As you can see, we got the Air Jordan 4 box right here. We got I'm Am Air Brandy on the side. The box is pretty much the same color as the shoes. Comes in this all over violet ore. You got the speckle on the side of the box as well. You also have the Jumpman Air and then the I'm, I'm in there A right there on the side. And then our sizing label reads Air Jordan 4 Retro SP. SP stands for Special Project. Color code is Violet Ore, Medium Ash Black. And I got a size 10 and a half. Retail was 225, which I'll touch on later when we get into overall quality craftsmanship. Flip this box open. We actually have my favorite part of the box right here, which is I'm, I'm in there branding. And then we got Michael Jordan. And this is Michael Jordan's celebration in 1989. After he hit, hit the shot against the Cavaliers and the Eastern Conference semifinals, I believe, in the Air Jordan 4 breads, as you guys can see. Iconic Air Jordan photo. Love that they tied this in with a pair of fours. Now, I actually was watching a YouTube video last night on this shoe, and the person reviewing the shoe didn't know where this image was from. I'm not here to call anyone out, but I feel like if you're in the Jordans, you should know because this is an iconic Michael Jordan photo. I don't know, thought that was interesting. But anyways, we're not gonna dwell on that. Other than that, we do have some I'm on my there paper right here, and that's pretty much it for the box. Once again, I'm on my there, really good packaging. One thing I will say is that there was no extra laces with the shoe, which is kind of disappointing, especially for the retail of 225. I figured they would throw in a spare pair of laces, but it is what it is. And with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And bang, here they are in the Air Jordan 4. I'm on there in the Violet Ore colorway. Now right off the bat, my favorite Air Jordan silhouette is the Air Jordan 4. I'm actually gonna like this shoe. I know 4s are having a moment right now. Everyone loves 4s. I feel like the Air Jordan 4 is the new Air Jordan 1, which sucks for me because the 4s this year have been super hard to get, and these were no exception. But anyways, I want to mention right off the bat is the color of this shoe really changed my mind in hand when I got it in the day. I know that's kind of cliche for when people get in shoes, they say it looks better in hand. But for me, I really had trouble like looking at online photos and trying to determine what this color was. But getting in hand, it's this beautiful like purple, violet color, dark purple, kind of reminds me of like a mauve. And it also kind of reminds me of the Yeezy 700 mauve, just a purple brownish color. A beautiful winter shoe and a luxury winter shoe. And that's what I get when I look at these, a luxury Air Jordan 4. I know I'm on an Air is a luxury brand. So I feel like just the overall feel of these, the luxury and what they were going for, they knocked it out of the park with these. Like I said, this just feels like a premium shoe. Now I did mention retail was 225. And I will have to say, I'm not mad at the retail price of 225. I know that's pretty expensive for a pair of Air Jordan 4s with 1980s technology in it. But craftsmanship, quality, everything is on point. I really don't have any flaws on either pair looking at it. No like glue stains or anything. So once again, shout out to I'm, I'm in there. Shout out to Jordan Brand. They took their time with these. Craftsmanship seems to be on point. Now besides the color, there are a few details I really like about the shoe. The first detail I really like on this shoe is going to be the tongue with the I'm, I'm in there A. Now my name is Andrew for those who don't know that. Obviously, Andrew starts with A, so I really like the A on the tongue. I know, obviously, it doesn't stand for Andrew, but to me, it could. Just figured I'd point that out. But on the back of this tongue, you get this quilted sock liner, and I will have to say, guys, I put this on for the on-foot review, 
And this Air Jordan 4 feels so good on feet. It feels way better than any Air Jordan 4 I put on right away. Now I will have to say, I haven't walked a mile in these yet, so I don't know if they're still gonna be that comfortable, but man, super comfortable on foot for an Air Jordan 4. I know a lot of people say 4s are uncomfortable, but I will have to say, this quilted sock liner, and also, let me pull this insole out because this is the difference right here as well. This insole right here with the I'm I'm in there branding, as you can see, and then the quilted material, and then the bottom of the insole as well. Trust me, guys, this feels so good on your foot. Just from trying them on for the on foot, it feels really good. Now, like I said, I haven't walked a mile in these. I don't know if they're gonna be the most comfortable Air Jordan forever, but just from first, time putting them on it seems like they might be super excited about that because that means i will actually want to wear them if they are getting older i just want to wear comfortable shoes but regardless moving on from that another thing i really like is this hang tag right here i'm, I'm in there hang tag and then another thing i forgot to mention about the back of this shoe i gotta pull the left one out so on the right pair you got it's not about the shoes behind this pull tab and on the left pair you got, it's about where you're going with Michael Jordan's signature. Absolutely love that touch. Really like that quote or phrase, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, super cool touch. Hidden detail as well. Also the Nike Air on the back is, you know we had to put the Nike Air on the booty. Everyone loves Nike Air on threes, fours, five, sixes. This being a collab, they had to do it. Getting into our midsole, we got the cream midsole. And I will have to say, this midsole just blends so nicely with this upper. The cream, the black, and the purple just flow so nicely. They really did a great job with these. And then our outsole is the cream outsole as well with some hits of black and that violet or color. We'll have to say the outsole is probably gonna get dirty because it's cream, but it is what it is. Wear your shoes, they're meant to be worn at the end of the day. But right off the box, super beautiful sneaker. Now I can see why everyone was super hyped about these. To be honest, I don't really get too hyped about Jordan collabs anymore, especially super hyped ones, because I know my odds of hitting them are slim to none. So then when I don't get them, I'm not that disappointed. So it's kind of like a mental thing. But now I can see why people are going crazy after these. Super cool shoes, super unique color. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed with these in hand. Also for sizing, which is big. I know people thought that since they took like some of this sock liner out, these were gonna fit a half size big. I will have to say, after putting them on my foot, go true to size. They fit just like Air Jordan 4s. And like I said, they are super comfortable right out the box. But yes, go true to size. If you have a wider foot, honestly, you might want to go half size up. But standard normal foot, definitely go true to size. Or whatever size you wear in your Air Jordan 4s, they fit like a normal Air Jordan 4. It's not like the off-white 5s or the off-white 5s ran like a half size bigger than normal 5s. So yes, stay true to size. You should be A-OK. -okay. But overall, like I said, execution, storytelling, I'm I'm in there, once again, knocks it out of the park. In terms of I'm I'm in there, Jordan collabs that recently dropped. I got these behind the threes. I think the threes are a tad better than these, but I think these are definitely better than the ones, the twelves. What's another one they've done? The twos. So yeah, I feel like this is the second best I'm I'm in there collab, but you guys can rank them down below. Also, sorry if this was a rush video. I'm currently filming this during my lunch break. I just wanted to get a video out for you guys so you guys can hear my thoughts and opinions. I also just noticed I have like a little dent right here on my toe box. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of annoying, but whatever. But yeah, like I was saying, sorry if this felt like a rush video. I wanted to get this out for you guys. And yeah, I had to do this during my lunch break. So I got to go back to work. But sound off in the comments below. It is your boy Wingstop Poppy. If I don't talk to you guys before Thanksgiving, hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.